Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Starfield Let's Play Adventure. In the last episode we took care of Ground Pounder, a little side quest we had picked up. Went and helped a bunch of scientists and stuff out and it was it was fun. I really enjoyed it. And now we're going to go over and try and get the power on Cassiopeia. I probably, I don't know, I've said it like 50,000 different ways. But we're going to go try and find the power over here. And uh, see what it's going to do for us. Decided that we would go ahead and see if we can pick up another power today. Or something. Wow, we've got structure over there. Uh, it was a an anomaly. That's what it shows. Everything's an anomaly. That's what I've figured out. Looks like we're going in this direction. At least now I know what I'm looking for. And hopefully I won't be running all over the dang planet. What do we have today? A little bit of lead. Fine. I'll take that. I'll do the scans. The scans are kind of fun, actually. Yeah, it feels like it's in that direction. Another anomaly over there. Seems like this is going to be like the last one. Just a bunch of anomalies all over the joint. Might still be... In this direction, I think. Seems like we're getting a little bit more frantic. Is that it over there? I just saw something pop up. Another anomaly. No, it's definitely in, like, this direction. That it's getting a bit more frantic. Yeah, we're definitely... Ah, there it is over there. Yeah. Another structure. Okay. That's got to be it, right? Because it kind of looks like the last temple. Yeah, there we go. No animals or anything on this planet. At least nothing I've seen. It's just kind of a harsh environment. A lot of rain. A lot of resources, though. And there's definitely water. So I think this could be a viable planet with the right protection to, um, to set up an outpost on. I don't know. I'd have to consider it. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's something different. I don't know what that is. Or is that the water? Oh, Lord. Okay, yep. Yeah, don't go over there. Never mind. Whatever that was, that hurt a lot. Never you mind. I don't care what it is. Now I have a cough. Oh, I think we picked up some kind of an infection. What did we get? I have a damaged lung. My prognosis is poor. An extreme solar radiation. Let's uh, let's go through and see if we've got any food that's going to heal that. It seems like a really bad thing to have. No, I don't think I got anything to heal that. I might need to go see a doctor when I get done here. We shall see. It'll be alright though. I'm sure it's not as poor as they're saying it's going to be. <laughs> you know, leave it to me to go find something I shouldn't... Uh, be finding but temple beta huh i'll take it seems like a good place to be would love to do a couple of bits of leveling up though might need to go back to um new atlantis and see if i can find a few more like smaller quests to do just to get some um some levels on me i want to do the one to continue the terramorph situation but that one is just a little bit outside of my leveling. It's like level 28. And the, we're only level 15. <laughs> so I think that one's a bit outside of my reach right now. Above my pay grade, so to speak. I need to figure out where those doors are. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and get in there. So this one's probably going to be like the last one where I have to fly up into the uh, to the lights. Yeah, it's going to be the exact same. Interesting. Ah, uh, here we go. There we go. I think we got it. 
Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and bob through. Maybe this will fix my issue. <laughs> Would you remove my cough, please? Interesting. And then we still wake up back outside. So that's all I got was the power. Oh, okay. So let me see here. What's this one? Gravity wave emit a gravitonial force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. Okay, so you can only have one active at a time. Let's stick with the gravity field for right now. And, no, we're not going to go do the double, you know, even though I would like to do that one. A bit above my pay grade right now, as I said. So, we have that one. And then we have this one. I think we can do that one, too. Okay. Scanner anomaly. Okay, but it already... It's already telling me I know where it's at. Interesting. This is another situation where we have extreme... Oh, I can scan you, though. But it looks like I've already... Can I do that without getting too close? Because, yeah. I'm already very... That's acquired the power. I shall stand guard while you focus. Yeah, I definitely am. Just a bunch of anomalies. But it looks like I've already gotten... I've already scanned it somehow. And I already know where it's at. I'm fine with that. The electricity coming down is a little freaky though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and just in case something decides to pop up and bite me on the way over there. Though I'm not seeing anything around here. I will take the cobalt though. The scan on the cobalt. Kind of weird that this one was here where every other one I've already had, I've had to go through and, and hold the scanner out. Unless it's because I scanned it from space. I don't know. We do need a doctor. <laughs> we are quite injured. We have a cough. We've got things. Actually, am I thirsty? That I think I can take care of. What's wrong with this now? Freezing rain. And extreme solar stuff. Oh, well, at least my... I've gone to stable on that. Do I not have anything to heal myself? There we go. Did that do it? No, that didn't do it. Ah, well. Maybe one day we will be healed again. <laughs> Who knows? Apparently our spacesuit doesn't like being out in the rain. We need an umbrella. A big giant umbrella. Though, a plastic one. I really don't want to get hit by electricity with a metal one. Temple Zeta. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah, I know. I am... I'm ill. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. We've probably got hypothermia, sun, extreme sunburn, bad lungs. It, <laughs> we're in a state. Yeah, we are really definitely in a state. Though, can I get down to the door? Not from here. Let's figure out how to get in the door. Here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like how the door is. Is it going to form into a door door? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's really cool. Bethesda does certainly know how to do doors. Thank you very much. It kind of reminds me of the one from Fallout 3. When you go into the Mechanist Lair, he had a door on him. That was a good one. Alright, let me go ahead and do my... My sh flying into the light thing. There we go. Let's go ahead and go through the middle and see what power we get this time. Sounds like we're filling out a whole tree, you know what I mean? 
Oh, wow. It's really cool. Mission reward. Wow, that was a pretty good chunk of experience. It looks different from up here. We're all the way at the top. Holy crud. Oh, this is really cool up here. I like this. All right, anyways, let's look at our mission. Or, well, not our mission, but what was this power? Grab dash. Manipulate gravity to propel yourself forward. And briefly increase any damage you inflict. That could be fun. You know, actually, I might... Um, we'll try that one out. But for now... Oh, hey, look, our status is getting better. I just have lung damage. <laughs> we'll be fine. All right, but I need to find my ship... That's the anomaly. Where did we park ourselves? There we go. Let's go ahead and fast travel back. I think this is definitely going to be a good place for us to go ahead and leave it for the day. A bit of a shorter episode. We went after two of the powers that we need to pick up. And I think in the next episode, we're going to go do failure to communicate. Sounds like a lot of fun. We are in the neighborhood for that. But until then, thank you all so much for joining me today. I've been Volker. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.